Okay, uh, hi there, David Brett here, selling guitars on Facebook. Uh, multiple guitars going through, if you've seen the video, you know the spiel. If you haven't, if this is the first of the videos you've requested to see of any of the guitars, so here's the spiel. Uh, all my guitars are used as tools, I, I don't put them on walls, I don't sit there and must worship down at the feet of them and polish them and make them look pretty constantly. Uh, I treat all my guitars as a tool to do a job, which is to get the best sound I possibly can, to do some recordings. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, what that means is the guitars I have, sorry, just saw some markings there, uh, will have little dinks, chips, scratches, etc. But none of the guitars will have any foundational major issues. Um, they're all fully functioning guitars and are all playable. So, uh, this one today, this is a Chantry. Um, I have absolutely no information about this guitar. I bought a while ago, uh, just because I thought it was a bit of a weird, interesting guitar. Someone was putting on sale. I uh, haven't used it because I have too many other guitars that do similar, something similar. So this has got quite a weird heavy tone. Dual humbuckers, single coil, some really odd random uh, Floyd Rose type patented thing. Um, the hardware was got very oxidised on the previous owner. Uh, did have it all stripped down, did clean it all up, however would probably benefit from having a full replacement if bothered. Um, or if you're not that bothered by it. I think it's fine, uh, doesn't really bother me. I've tuned this one down to D, it seems to hold tuning better in D, uh, rather than going work to standard. Uh, standard tends to pull the Floyd too much up. Um, yeah, so apart from that, uh, just the usual nips and scratches. So this one's quite a cheap guitar to sell it off for. Uh, and so I'm going to play it through Cubase 8 with a Guitar Rig 5 set up on a dual rectifier. Uh, all the guitars have been recorded with exactly the same sound, no changes. Um, so we will now see what this one sounds like. So, oh. nope, not did not want to do that. Did want to do that. Uh, so this is going to just be the high pickup first. five-way selector so I'm gonna go straight into the middle one oh and we've got cut out so that's one thing that I have noticed as well so this would be something you might want to get some uh, WD-40 in there to look some dirt on the contacts but for some reason it's just a bit of a lot. The pickups are very high output um, compared to some of the other guitars I've got. Uh, and to be honest, I think if you know how to set up a guitar and did a little bit of maintenance, like just switching out, if you wanted to swap out the five way selector or just basically do some cleaning on it, it's a great little guitar uh, to have a bit of a mess around with, just surplus to my requirements. Anyway, if interested, send me a message. Best of luck. <laughs> 